Hello, friend. I'm going to chat a little bit today about fractals. I will tell you right right now, I'm not an expert at this. Um, I have done the, I've completed the differentiation degree and, and we've briefly gone over this, um, but it's deep, okay? It's, when Ra taught human design, he taught it over a span of, I believe it was 25 years that he was here before he, he passed. And there was still pieces of this system that he didn't teach his students. And here's my take on it. I believe he didn't teach because he didn't think that the, the information would land in the cells. He didn't believe that his, his students were ready for, for the information. So I know that there's quite a bit of stuff that he took with him. I, could, I can sense it when I listen to his, his recordings and when I, when I can sit in his energy field. But what do fractals mean? So everything's just a formula. Your body graph's a formula. Um, the biverse is a formula. Every single thing is a formula. And then we get to experience that formula. And then we get to play around again and retest that, that formula. And then we get to play around with it. And then we get to have these real epiphanies that, that happen through us. So there's this, this, this big pot of soup that's happening. But, but what does fractals indicate is that sacred geometry and if you see the image behind me, this image actually came from one of the slides from my differentiation degree. So no, I did not make this, okay? And, and Ra got some really, really profound information about, about, <laughs> about the start or even uh, as he would call it, the start before the beginning. And I know that a lot of this stuff went to the grave with him, however, the fractal piece of this is we're all kind of dropped into um, a particular line. So let's say that, you know, we, we start here in the middle and, 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 and the names for this is the camel and the dog. This information you can get from the rave cosmology and the Bantoon. Um, I will, t Bantu, I will, I will tell you that I'm not an expert at this because I'm not. Um, and I haven't meditated on this enough. I haven't sat with it. I can get through portions of Ra's information, but it's so deep that I know that I'm not absorbing. I'm a right brain body um, being. And the moment that I can feel myself removing myself from, from, his, from his conversation, from his energy, I know that the cells are full. They can't, they can't listen anymore. They can't absorb anymore. So I know that I need to then take time and, and um, allow for whatever it was to settle down in, in my cellular structure. And then when it's correct, my physical body will move me uh, to, to those studies again. And I can re-listen or I can go to the next piece of it. So I, I've been learning that my, about myself through the, the human design system. So each one of us, basically, we drop in and, and there's a fractal. There's going to be a, this fractal line that we decided to be on because we're not touching everybody. We can't. There, it's, it's an impossibility in this, in this structure, right? We're in this meat suit. I'm never, ever, ever going to be able to touch uh, the seven or eight billion people or however many people on this planet. I, it's an impossibility in my physical meat suit. Am I touching them energetically? Yes, most likely because we are in this web. But what, what, what the fractal is all about is we came on this per particular trajectory, this particular line. And I'm not saying this is the line. I'm just saying that you know, just for visual purposes, okay? Some of us have fractals that are, are lengthy and deep and, and we're able to, to contact and, and touch and, and impact lots of people. Some of us don't have large fractals and we are going to have a very small, uh, intimate uh, group of people that we impact. 
again, this study is very deep. I'm just like barely brushing the surface of it. But it's all about sacred geometry. And, and believe it or not, I, I don't, you know, science is now, you know, there's, there's naysayers saying that the Big Bang was all bullshit. I have no idea. I, I wasn't, you know, consciously, I'm, I'm not there. I, I don't meditate on that. I have no idea what took place. If I did, I'd probably be a, 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 a kajillionaire because people want to know that answer. However, uh, the, the, whole, the whole sacred geometry and, and the, 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 the fracturing of, of the information. So there's this fracture that takes place. And those that are along this particular fracture is who you're going to uh, connect with. They can, they, they can hear you. Um, they want to be in your energy field. They resonate to you. And you know what? You're going to provoke them or not. And that's okay because there's going to be this little bit of, you know, curiosity that takes place. So it's this, this, this fracture line that your people are going to be on. And we have this particular fractal of people that we impact and they impact us. And it's all based off of sacred geometry and that, and that, and that fracture that took place of, of the crystal. Now, again, in, in human design language, we have a personality crystal that it hovers, right? The, the design crystal is like, nope, you're not, you're not coming in. It just hovers above the, the head, okay? So it's not actually in the physical body. It's in the auric field only. And then we have our design crystal that, that resides within the physical body and the magnetic monopole. And this dynamic that takes place between the, the personality crystal, the design crystal, and the monopole, this really is how we, um, if you play around with the MMI software, I don't, I don't know how many of you have it or don't have it, but there is uh, the tone that is a triangle and the the, the color that is six-sided and the base that is a rectangle. And then you see the body graph and it, it has that triangular shape. And Buckmeister Fuller, uh, when he was, he's a scientist, he also uh, saw these fractals and he could see this, this patterning that takes place because again patterns formulas uh sacred geometry all of it is just a formula it's a pattern it when, when we put stuff together we create this new and we live in this neutrino ocean and the neutrino ocean is flowing through us the the neutrinos come from the stars they have this information it's like little tiny information packets and, and these information packets are coming, you know, they're coming out of these stars and they hold this little bit of information. And then they, you know, for example, go through Pluto and they are conditioned or influenced by Pluto as well. So all of a sudden there's an add on to the formula and the formula then flows down and, and it flows through us. Like again, very simplistic. I have no idea the path of all these neutrinos i have no idea but if then it flows through us so it provides us with this little information package and that information package is really for us to then go oh okay we're influenced by this information we're in this information stoop and and the evolutionary path of the program is saying okay through your frequency you're interpreting this information and this interpretation based off of your unique god code that really is in the body graph that's your unique god code you're then going to represent this information from your frequency and those that are 
able to hear it, those that are able to do anything with that information are going to be on your fractal. And when the time is correct, when the time is correct, what you will see is that um, if you are a generator or a manifesting generator or a builder, people will ask you for that information. Um, if you are a projector slash advisor, they will invite you in to share this information. Um, if you are a manifester or an innovator, what you will notice is that you are taking your signals from the program. Okay, and the program is saying, okay, this needs to be innovated in order for you, the manifester, the innovator, to open up the door and create what needs to be created. And if you are a reflector, you are sitting in this pot of soup and you're sampling all of this information. And, you know, as the unicorn that you are, there's not many of you. And you're going, okay, I see what the manifester or the innovator is uh, creating. And based off of the evolutionary program, because the innovators, reflectors, um, uh, the manifestors, and the uh, so how did I say it? So the reflectors and the evaluators, the innovators and the manifestors, they are, they are based off of the program, okay? And they are here to innovate based off the program and evaluate based off the program. And the, and the evaluators are saying, okay, we are on track or we are really fucking off track. And the builders and the advisors or the generators, manifesting generators and, and the projectors, what they are here, they are here to, to build it and to be, to, and, and, and the projectors and the advisors are here to guide that building. So they are having more of a human experience per se than the manifestors, innovators, evaluators, reflectors because they though that those two types are really connected with this program okay as the as the transits go around as the neutrino ocean is providing us with the information on you know our evolutionary movement there's two types that are connected fully to that and there's two types that are really you know doing the hands-on nitty-gritty working and being working and being I'm not saying that the projectors are here to do all the working. They are here to guide that working. So the fractal is that group of people that ha are, are wanting your interpretation of the neutrino ocean. They want your interpretation. And your interpretation is going to help them on their evolutionary path your interpretation through your God code will assist them in some way, shape or form, because we are all here together in this uh, pot of soup. We're not in it alone. We chose to be in this huge pot of soup together so that we can influence each other to move farther into the evolutionary path. Now, unfortunate piece is that instead of influencing each other in a healthy way, we have turned around and started to condition each other. And um, if we could just make that tiny little shift from conditioning to influencing and presenting our frequency in a way that is healthy for ourselves and healthy for everyone, then, then the adjustment and the wellness piece of the evolution can take place. I'm not saying that, you know, the way we're moving forward is all wrong. I'm not saying that. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. However, what I do know is if the physical body, if the physical meat suit that you are in is showing any kind of 
dis-ease, disrepair, um, if it's unwell, that is the clear indication that your frequency, all the information that's meant to be flowing through you, there's, there's a disconnect happening. There's a huge disconnect because the physical body is really our intelligence field. And then when the mind is healthy, that's really our antenna. And it's able to um, decode all the information that is flowing through our meat suits. So on your fractal, you're going to have this group of people that are waiting for you to get healthy. They're waiting for you to get healthy. And how you do that is through correct decision making. And that correct decision making frees up your cellular structure. And then that freed up cellular structure or decluttered cellular structure can repair because there's no, not any more uh, conditioned junk in there. You know, instead of, you know, going to the dump and throwing our stuff at the dump, it's like, oh, okay, let's be conscious of this. Let's be aware of what we're putting into our cellular structure. Let's be aware of what we are doing to our planet. Let's be aware of the clutter. When you can declutter and open up those cells, then the information that's coming through the neutrino field can land. And when it can land, then all of a sudden, your God code, your frequency can then present that information based off of your strengths, your qualities, your traits that sit in the body graph. And that's really what was asked of you. So, like I say, some of us, we have a fractal that has uh, millions of people. Some of us may only have thousands of people. And, and I'm not an expert in this, so I can't give you that answer. Like, how many people am I going to impact? I don't, I, don't, I don't have that answer. I know it's in this information somewhere. It's deeper than where I've got to. And I, I've, been, I've been studying this information for seven years experimenting with it and studying it. And I will tell you that I, I am still just scratching the surface. I've immersed myself in it. So if you feel like you're anxious and um, you want all the answers today, I will tell you that human design is not the place for you then. Because this is a process. This is, you know, comprehending the information but experimenting with it. And if you think that you're just going to get a reading and everything in your life is going to change, not going to happen. This is not a quick fix. This is process work. This is deep. This is, this is a scientific um, formula. So relax into the information. And how will you know if your, fra if your fractal is there? If they're, you will know it because the disrepair in the body is repaired. The dis-ease in the body is ease. The physical body adjusts. And then all of a sudden, you're aware because you're making decisions correctly for yourself. And you can see, oh, who's entering into my work field? Who's asking me? Who is inviting me? What am I sampling here? And who am I impacting? What am I impacting? If you can't see it and you're not aware of it and the physical body is in disrepair, None of this shit matters. None of it matters. It doesn't matter who's on your fractal or not. Because if you're bringing unhealthiness, there's going to be all kinds of unhealthiness. And those people can't see you. You can't see them. They can't see you. So it's about you getting correct first because there's nothing else. There is absolutely nothing else. It's only about you. That's it. You're creating me so that you can get a tidbit of information here. And I am creating you as well. 
we are creating each other so that we can get the information we need to get. We're just in this information pot of soup. And what I hope that I am able to do is influence you into a better life, into healthy decision-making, into uh, being able to see your fractal, being able to interact with the people you're meant to interact with. Instead of being fully distracted and, and doing a whole bunch of stuff that creates disrepair in your physical body because it's only about the physical body without it you're just having a pure positive energy experience and we were asked we were asked could you please have a human experience could you be self-reflected consciousness in a meat suit is that possible that's the experiment right now And the bioverse, the universe, the God, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter to me, is, you know, constantly streaming out information, streaming out information, streaming out information. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see what you're meant to do? Can you become aware of those that you're going to, you know, meld with on this fractal. And the clutter and the disconnect, if that's taking place, there's no way to move forward on this fractal in a healthy way. So it really truly is about decision making, clear up the mind, clear up the mind so that the conceptualization of the information field can be clean and crisp and clear. You know, when, when, when you have a radio tuner, right, a radio, and, and you're tuning the button, if it's off even by a point of a hertz, today, we they're static. And for the most part, that's what we're living in. We are living in noise and static. So the people on your fractal, they can't hear you. They're not picking up what you're laying down. But the moment you're able to get clear, the moment you're able to make decisions and honor your meat suit, love it, honor it, respect it, Everything in your life can then open up and change because it's only you. You're, you're, that's it. It's you in this information field. And those that are ready to step onto your fractal, they're there. They're just kind of, it's like in the weeds, right? <laughs> We're kind of all in the weeds. We're kind of trying to get out of the weeds. They're there. And when you're clean and crisp, they can hear you and it's like you're 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 pulling them out of the weeds so you know I, I live on a gravel road and the grass and the weeds on the side of the roads can get really you know it can get really tall and people are just sitting there waiting ah she's clean she's crisp Ooh, he's clean he's crisp I can hear him. I can hear him calling me out of the weeds. I can hear that message. And all of a sudden they stand on the road with you. They stand on your, on your fractal with you. And you guys get to move down the fractal together, being healthy influences. You know, I'm not saying that you're going to do everything together. That's not what I'm saying. Is that all of a sudden, ah, he's healthy. She's healthy. He's healthy. She's healthy. And all of a sudden, this wellness starts to walk down the road, and it influences those that are ready and can hear you. So that is my take on the fractal. It is way deep. 
it is a formula. Um, I will tell you that I am not the expert in it. That is my interpretation of it. Uh, what I love is that, you know, Ra has this, hmm, he has this profundity about him. And also, I know that he took information to the grave. I just, I can sense that. And hopefully those of us that are, are on this human design journey and, and are deeply, deeply committed to the experiment, that he can continue to um, drop in that information into us. So thank you very much for your time. And I hope you have a great day.